What's up everybody? This is your boy DC with Bad Bodies. Hey, my Bad Bodies family. Hey, thank you for all the things that you guys are saying and doing, uh, looking out for for me and supporting me with the Bad Bodies and with the Derek Colors brand. Hey, we're just gonna keep growing. Okay, <clears throat> so my, su my subject of today in my Derek's Diamonds, Yes, it's another episode. It's been a minute, but I'm back. Derek's Diamonds are information that's going to help you be better. It's like a diamond that's valuable. So take these Derek's Diamonds and use them. Now, most of my videos are centered around you being a better person physically, emotionally, mentally, so that you can be better and maybe help society be better. And this subject that I'm going to talk about today relates to a lot of you but not everybody at this moment and it will later so it's good i'm going to always feed you diamonds to your mind that can make you more valuable okay that's the whole purpose of derek's diamonds is to make you more valuable so the subject that i'm going to talk about today is what is the number one job of a parent okay everybody has their opinions if you want to leave it down at the bottom put you know in the comments and tell me what you think it is before you watch this video then do that but i will tell you what the number one job of a parent is when i come back Alright, I'm back. Again, your boy DC with Derek's Diamonds. Hey, I asked you, what is the number one job of a parent? A lot of people think the number one job is feeding the kids, clothing the kids, sheltering the kids, you know, transporting the kids. Hey, all of that is important. All of that is good. But that is not the number one job of a parent. The number one job of a parent is to train and prepare your kid to be successful according to the ways of God into when they become adults. A lot of kids are not ready for adulthood. And the reason why is because they're not being trained. And the reason why our society, to me, is falling apart, and you got some sorry men and some sorry women out there, and, and they're not doing anything with their lives, it's not because of them. It's because their parents did not train them. And I don't like that. I believe that everyone should be trained in order for them to be successful. And nobody in this world world cannot be successful if they are trained right and some of us are not trained so we have to start and learn ourselves so that we can train the next generation to get better listen if everybody taught their kids to be better than them this world will start getting better if everybody would train their kids to say hey you know what I'm not the greatest, I'm not the best, but hey, I do know that I want you to be better than me. And you teach your kids to be better than you, and then they have kids one day, and then they teach their kids to be better than you, then hey, guess what? You will uh, find that the world will continue to get better, okay? So, okay, for example, here's an example that I want to give you that will kind of illustrate what I mean about how important being trained is. Okay, let's say that the military came into your house. Let's say you had no military experience, that you just a, 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 a everyday citizen that goes to work, you know, you got your jobs, got your family, but the military bombards his way into your house, pulls you out, takes you and puts you on a plane, flies you to Iraq, take you off that plane, put you on a helicopter, take you out into the middle of the war zone in the desert and gives you a gun and a helmet and drops you off with the rest of the troops and says, all right, go to war. What are you going to do? What are you going to be thinking? You know, most people say, well, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Okay, you're going to fight. That's good because you have no choice. How long do you think you're going to last? Some people who think they're Rambo think they're going to go through and they're going to kill everybody and they're going to come home to a, a ceremony of how great you are. That ain't real. So you can forget that. You're not going to last long. There's a reason why you have to be trained for war because it is a serious thing. So if they dropped you off and you were not trained, 
guess what? You won't last long. And while you're out there, what are you going to be thinking? I know what most people are going to think. I know what I will be thinking. I'm thinking like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to go to war. I don't want to kill nobody and I don't want to be killed. I want to get out of here. My only thinking while I'm on that field is how can I survive? Because what? I didn't sign up for this. I did not know what I was getting into when they came into my house. I have not been trained for this. And guess what? That's what hap that's what's happening to our young men in this world and our young women. Young men are not taught and trained how to be real men. And young women are not being taught and trained how to be real women. So let's stick for them to the men for a second. Men are going to grow and, and young boys are going to grow into be adulthood men. But just because they are grown and age does not mean that they know how to be men if you haven't trained your sons to be men from the time they were able to understand and that's around one years old these young men are being pushed out into the world just like you was dropped off on that battleground and they pushed into the world and you're saying to them you're old enough go be successful just like saying you have a gun and a helmet you go be successful in this war. It's not gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of young men are out in this world as grown, adult-sized men with baby mindsets. They don't know how to fight for nothing. They don't know how to work for nothing. They don't understand what they need to do in order to be successful in this world. And it's not really their fault. It's because they have not been trained to be men. You cannot expect for them to be successful men just because they're 22, 21. Oh, you're old enough. You're a grown man. Go make it happen. It's not going to happen. The only thing most of these young men are thinking is how can I survive? And so when they're doing that, they're trying to survive any way they can. So they're going to have women taking care of them. They out here not doing anything. So they, they go into selling drugs and robbing, stealing, or working these nine to five jobs. That's a dead end for them in their future. They're unhappy. There's problems coming at home because they are not trained. You, I've seen some of the best Fed people, shelter people, clothed people, and transported people in the world. They had the richest and the best, but they're the worst people in the world. So that is not most important. You, the most important job is to know that your sons and daughters are going to become adults and they're going to have kids. And how can they make society better and then train, train their kids to do the exact same thing? See, this is a touchy situation for me. This is why I'm talking about this, because it means so much. I am so sick and tired of seeing one and two and three and five, six year old kids running around, parents looking lost like they don't know what to do and they can't control their kids. I'm in the restaurant yesterday and the whole time I'm watching two females with a little boy who about two or three years old and the whole time they're telling him sit down stop i'm moving over here quit it they grabbing him trying to make him sit down he won't sit down he's standing up in the seats he's turning around bothering other people why we don't we don't come to a restaurant to deal with another person's bad kids we didn't come for that and guess what it's so simple to train your kids you just have to stay consistent. Okay, so I'm sitting here looking at this and it's just really bothering me. But then I look to my left, there's another family where it looks like the mom and the dad with a little boy and a little girl around the same age as this other little kid that's just acting up. These kids are mannerable, they're polite, the parents are not telling them or are not telling them to sit down, stop this. These kids are doing good. Why? Because you can tell that these parents are taking time teaching their kids how to act in public. Well, this other family is struggling. So guess what I do? Being the mentor that I am, I get up, I go and pull me a chair and I pull it up and start talking to them. And I know like that, they were probably like, who is this guy? Like he's stopping and pulling his chair up and he's talking to us. And I start my sentence off with, how you doing ladies? Let me ask you a question. What's the number one job of a parent? And as I started talking to them and I, I got to explain to them 
what I'm explaining, what I'm telling you now, they started getting it. They understand. I'm a believer that if when you're training a kid, you have to whip their behind. Because you have to instill a healthy fear into your kids. Not the type of fear where they're afraid to be around you. I'm not asking, I'm not telling you to beat your kids. That's the worst thing that you, that you can do is to beat on your kids. But spanking your kids diligently. The Bible says discipline your kids diligently. That means you, it's thought out. It's under control. Look. Here's to me when you want to discipline your kids if you have to spank them This is the way I do it and it has worked for me Okay, if one of my daughters Acts up and I have to spank them and this is when they were little I mean, you know, they're a little, they're a little older now, but this is how I train them We already went over rules and guidelines of what you should and shouldn't do so you can't spank a kid They don't know the rules and you haven't established the boundaries and I'll do a video on boundaries soon But right now let's stick to where we are if you want to discipline your kid You always do it under control. You do not spank your kids Where you lost your mind you screaming and hollering and just swinging all over the place hitting them in the back hitting them in the arm Slapping on them. Now, that, that's not love. That's not discipline. That's you trying to satisfy your anger And when what this is what kids think if you are screaming and hollering and just swinging what the kids are getting is I'm getting spanked not because of what I did but because I made mommy mad I made daddy mad so they are hitting me because they are upset that is not the message you're trying to get across to your kids that you want to hit on them when they make you angry because what's gonna happen when they get older they're gonna think that when I get angry when someone makes me mad I'm gonna hit them that is not the message you're trying to get. You want them to understand that they are getting a spanking for what they did, not because you made mommy or daddy upset. So this is how I always did it. And it's worked good for me. When my kids get in trouble, I come to them and say, hey, didn't we have a conversation about this? You did what I told you not to do. This, and now every every time a kid does wrong, it doesn't mean they have to get a whooping, but there are some that it has to. So if I'm about to, if I feel like they've done something bad enough that they need a whooping, this is what I do. I say, didn't we have a conversation about this? Okay, you have to get licks. I make them lay down, and then I say, this is how many licks you get. If you put your hand back there, or if you turn, the licks don't count. Okay, then I talk to them, explaining to them why they are getting a spanking, and I give them a lick. But they never know when the next one's coming because I'm still talking. See, I'm using this moment as a teaching moment. I want them to understand that this situation is not me satisfying my anger. It's me pointing out your mistake and how we're going to make sure that this mistake does not keep happening. And I don't spank to stop for the moment. I spank to stop for good. So I want their minds to really be in a mode where they understand like I don't want this again. So I don't have to I don't have to spank my daughters over and over and over. Twice in a lifetime. And one of my daughters never got a spanking with a bell because she understood. But I don't, I don't, I don't have any problems out of my daughters. So when I spank them, they understand that dad is spanking me for what I did, not because he's upset. So they don't grow up thinking that it's okay for a man to hit them when he gets angry because they watched their dad hit them when he was angry. That is not the point or the objective of a spanking. It's to teach to be better. Okay? Everybody doesn't agree with spanking. I do and I believe that if you do it the way the Bible tells you, you're going to get good results. Okay? So this is what I'm saying. Train your kids so that you won't have headaches. Little cute bad kids turn to big ugly adults. And you're not going to want to be arguing fussing with a 13, 14 year old boy, little girl who think they know everything because you didn't decide to train them up right when they were younger. When you train it and instill it in them when they're young, they continue to do it when they're older. That's that's my point today. I could go on and on and on on this subject. I don't want it to be too, too long. I don't know how long I've been, but I'm in the moment. And I could just go on and on and on. Hey, if you have any comments you want to make, feel free to leave them. If you want to contact me, email me at DerekColors.com. 
at yahoo.com d-e-r-r-i-c-k-c-u-l-l-o-r-s hit me up let me know i can address any questions that you may have look Derek's Diamonds is about pointing out valuable information that can help you overall. And I believe a lot of parents out there need to have a structured system that can help them be better parents. So this world can get better. Remember, life ain't just about the physical. It's about the inside. And if you're not focused on the inside as much as the outside, you're just going to be an ugly, pretty person. I want you to be a pretty, pretty person. I want to be a, a smart person handsome and good guy that's my goal i want to help people bless people i don't want it to just be about my looks it's not all about just looks it's about the whole entire person so let's start training our kids let's start making this world a better place and let's start with the discipline right at home take your feelings out of discipline and discipline for purpose purpose over feelings is more valuable so that's Derek's Diamonds for the day. Thank you for listening. I hope that this video does you some good and it helps you out. If you got subjects that you need to, uh, to have information on and help with, feel free to let your boy know. This is Derek Colors representing and, and Bad Bodies. And hey, let's continue to be better. Much love. I'll be hollering at you.